Good morning, y'all. All right. Let me move my lamp out of the way. I'm almost through with my 5D diamond painting. I've just got the very bottom to do. It's coming out really nice. Um, I don't know if I showed y'all this or not. But I'm using a rolling pen to put down my jewels and then um, Mod Podge it if I, you know, when I get done. But this works really well. Just sit down there and jank, and it works out fine. Also, trying to get a sheath made for my knife because in Texas, as of September the 1st, we'll be able to carry these legally. Uh, we've had a ban kind of situation on these, and so September the 1st, we'll be able to carry them. So I'm trying to get a sheath made because I have this one, but I don't like it because I want one that just clips to my britches because I don't wear a belt. And so a lot of those you slide on your belt and I don't have that. Um, working on my crane blanket. Crane. I still got a ways to go on that because it's not even four foot yet. Uh, this thing is back there with her bell, so I'm sorry. Um, we're still doing fine here in Texas uh, with the Harvey situation. We're dry and, and everything's fine. Um, our folks down, you know, the folks down there in Harvey are still doing well with it. And you know, I want to bring up something I had thoughts on last night. And I'm going to get flagged. I'm probably going to have um, issues, you know, people with hate mail and everything. And I don't care. I, I don't care. This is my opinion. My opinion. Everybody's giving grief to Joe Olstein's little mega church well not little but mega church that he's not open because of flooding blah 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 and um there's an article into here in texas that happened that um number one i don't even know if that church got flooded i don't know i don't follow that very well but number two is the police force has said that they don't want people going there anyway and you're like well why not that's a good place for people to go Here's why. When Katrina hit, everybody went to the football stadium. Those people destroyed that stadium. And I think he's worried about people destroying his church. But the thing of it is, okay, I've lost the little dog. Uh, the thing of it is, is our mamas raised us better here in Texas. We don't go around destroying people's property and we sure as hell don't go looting shit. Why? Do you need 30 pairs of Nikes in the middle of a hurricane? I don't know. But, you know, our mama's raised us better than those people over there in, or in uh, New Orleans. Now, a lot of people are good folks over there. You know, they're salty the earth. But you know who I'm talking about. Uh, that they need an ass whooping. And I think that's why he doesn't open the church. But the law enforcement stepped up and said, Listen, we don't want people in big spaces like that because... Last when the Katrina hit, there was rape, there was murder, there was abuse, and there was just a whole lot because you had all these people stuck in this one um, stadium, and they're bad. They were bad, you know. And I think that's what it boils down to for Joel Osteen's church is he doesn't want people ruining things. And again, it boils down to I, I'm sorry, there's something. Ugh, I hate that when I got hair. Us Texans are raised a lot better. Our mama's raised us right. We don't need 30 pairs of Nikes in a storm. You know, we are out there. I'm going to say we as the Texans. I'm not. But, you know, fellow Texans are out there with boats, with kayaks. I've seen a little boy rescuing people with kayaks. You know, um, sorry, I keep losing the dog. You know, we're out there trying to make a difference. Well, no, I'm going to say we, you know, like not me, but, you know. People are out there trying to make a difference and trying to rescue these people, no matter what color we are or who, you know, it doesn't matter. Texas comes together and rallies around. There's also the price gouging situation, which I don't agree with, because Best Buy had water for $42 uh, a case. And I'm like, that's stupid. That is utter bullshit right there. Um, I don't understand the reasoning in that. People are needing supplies. I know here in Crane, Texas, and Odessa, Texas, they're gathering up supplies to go down there. You know, it, Texas is a whole new ball game in in flooding and stuff. You know, we don't we don't act like thugs and hoodlums here. You know, um, I, I do want to say though that the Navy or the 
Cajun Navy, which, you know, is just a band of brothers. The folks from Cajun, uh, Louisiana came and tried to help them, but they got shot at and people tried to steal their boats. That's not who we are as Texans. We don't do that. Um, so it had to be over there in the bad side of the hood. Um, and I feel bad that they feel like, you know, wow, we come over there to help y'all and this is what we get. And I hate that happened. But anyway, I think, I think, you know, that's the whole situation with the mega church. Um, you know, and, and if it was really about his people, he would not be living in a mansion. He would not have congregation that's hungry and homeless and stuff. He would give up his mansion, live in a normal house like the rest of us, and put that money into programs to uh, help the homeless, the veterans, and all that. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to clear that up because I don't want, you know, people thinking we're like the Katrina people because we're not. Mama raised us right. Mama raised us right. That's all I'm going to say on that. But I love y'all. Have a great day and take care.